Oh my gosh! I can't even believe this thing. One of the best things you've made me. Hello, what's going on everybody? It's your girl Merle, and today we have another cool vegan substitute. Vice did an article about Noma, the renowned restaurant, where they made shawarma out of celery root. I know, as someone who's a plant-based eater, even I am like, huh, ah, huh, huh, how? But it's Noma, they know what they're doing. I can't not try this, I feel like it's just too cool looking. I mean, it looks the part. The question is always, will it taste anything like it, what it's supposed to taste like? I guess we'll just have to find out. I've used celery root in the past. I used it to try to make vegan fish and chips. Celery root or celery ac looks like a mandrake. So the first thing we need to do with this funky little root is to peel it. And what you might notice here is at the top we've got like what looks like a little celery. So that's kind of cool. I don't think it is celery though. All right, and I'm gonna collect all my little peels and I'm gonna put them in my little compost bowl. You guys might think that I'm crazy for reminding you to do that, but it really can make a difference. And we're gonna use a mandolin to slice it into 1 16th of an inch slices. You know what, I am gonna chop the top off of this. Be very careful when you're doing this. Oh, it's looking good. All right, so these slices are looking fantastic. I'm gonna do this again with two more celery yak. We want about a pound, so it'll probably take like two or three. Now that we've got that all sliced up, we're gonna move on to our spice mixture. We're gonna use one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, four teaspoons of sweet paprika, cumin, allspice, coriander, dried oregano, turmeric, and finally, kosher salt. And now we're just gonna mix it all together. Look at those beautiful colors. All right, so now we're making it rain with our slices and we've got our spice mixture. We're gonna add in some red wine vinegar, canola oil, and two healthy tablespoons of our spice mixture. And then we're just gonna mix that all up. Stirring this is not necessarily a field day, but once the oil gets more incorporated through all the slices, it will get easier, so don't worry. And now comes the fun part. Yeah, the fun part, sure. We're going to be taking these slices of celery yak and we're going to be placing them on our spit or our vertical rotisserie. I will include a way that you can do this without a spit or a vertical rotisserie right in the recipe, so don't panic. You don't have to do it dead center every time. It might actually be good if you have some a little to the left and some a little to the right, because that'll help to kind of space it out and also it'll bulk out our shawarma. The more we can get it to look like a hunk of meat, the better. I feel like as soon as I said that, I just could hear people click clacking away on their keyboard. Why would you want it to look or taste like meat? Well, you know what? I always really like the taste of meat and I think it's a fun challenge. I think as long as we are respectful to the cultures or the practices the original dishes come from, in this case, it's shawarma, which is a Middle Eastern cuisine. Also, different countries will use different types of meat. It could be beef, it could be lamb, it could be chicken, it could be goat, depending on the country we're talking about. I point this out because I think it's important when you're doing a vegan interpretation of something, not to just completely wipe out the original dish itself. This could be something fun to do for the holidays. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 carrot salmon, 11 banana peel pulled pork, 10 mushroom ribs, nine coconut calamari, eight lobster mushroom rolls, seven squash eggs, six tomato eggs, we tried it again and it was better, five watermelon ham, four celery yak fish and chips, three avocado brownies, two edible bean cookie dough, and a celery yak on a spit. I've been doing this for a while now, huh? It never stops being fun, you know? But I am slowly going to run out of ideas, so please let me know if you know of anything else that would be cool. I'm gonna admit, when I look at the bee cam, it looks a little bit like slices of potato getting ready to become potato chips. Doesn't quite look like meat yet. Now this is done, it's time for us to wrap the entire thing in some aluminum foil. Now it's time to bake this. We have the oven set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 160 degrees Celsius. 
163 degrees to be exact. And we're gonna let it go ahead and slow bake in there for about 50 to 60 minutes. In you go, good luck in there, good luck. In the meantime, let's make our glaze. Then we're gonna remove the foil from the shawarma and use a brush to base it all over with our glaze and return it to the oven for 10 minutes. Then we'll take it out, glaze it again, and put it back in for 10 more minutes. Finally, we'll remove it from the oven and increase the temperature to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 220 degrees Celsius, and baste it once more, place it in the oven for two to three minutes, rotate it, and place it back in for two to three more minutes, and then it should be all caramelized and beautiful. All right, the moment we have all been waiting for. Oh my gosh! Wow! I can't even believe this thing. It's like completely transformed before our very eyes. Now the only thing left to do is to cut it. I'm scared I'm gonna do it wrong. I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up somehow, but in times of doubt, you just have to go for it. Ah! <laughs> Wow, the flavor of celery is still a little bit present. I still know who she is. There's no way in hell anyone would ever mistake this for meat, but I'm really impressed with how the celery root took on those seasonings. The slow roast is definitely key. The texture is not the celery root's strong point, but it's got pizzazz. I love the presentation. I really like the flavor. But now I'm gonna serve it to Arya. He's a meat eater, so he'll be a, a tougher critic. So I don't know what he's gonna think of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it with some warm pita bread, hummus, and cucumber salad. And maybe the marriage of all of that will come together and blow his mind. One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> a little pita wrap. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is like a, that's a shawarma. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I actually I've been to Turkey and I had some delicious mm. shawarma over there. Well, it's gonna be better. <laughs> it is very pretty. Exciting. Mm, looks very fresh and healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. The flavor profile is bang on. Yeah. It really is bang on. One of the best things you've made me on this show. The thing is, I do think that I'm not getting a taste of really what your substitute is because it's getting overpowered by all the different, the tomato, the red onion, the parsley, all that kind of stuff. So maybe I need to taste it on its own. That might have been part of the strategy. I wouldn't think it's meat if someone gave it to me, but it's still very tasty on its own. Mm. What is this? Carrot? <laughs> no. I know you like carrot in your thing. No, I've done that one time. <laughs> meat? <laughs> no. I had it hidden Nectarine? Hand. Nectarine is a fruit no. and that would make <laughs> no sense. It also has a little sweetness to it. It looks like potatoes, if anything. Um, what is that? If it's stacked like that? Celery root. Celery root again! <laughs> ah, it worked. This is better than last time. I didn't like it last time, did I? No, because you don't like celery. Yeah, that's why I'd say the hints of celery now come through. Yeah, very, yeah. very minimal. This is very good. Okay, likeness to meat, very low. Even just looking at it, you know that's not meat. So, in terms of likeness, that is a substitute, two or three. Okay. Out of 10. The overall dish, 8.4. Wow. 8.4. Yes, it's very good, very tasty all around. Thank you. What a treat. Yeah. What a treat. It is a treat. You're welcome and thank you. Yes. Yeah. I love hummus. Yeah, I love, I love you. you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks, handsome. <laughs>